Let's get reaction to this now and bring in the opposition's health spokesperson, Dr Shane Reti. Kia ora Shane, thanks very much for coming on tonight. Let's just put aside the ED wait times for just a moment. Uh, the Te Whatu Order report says yes, COVID has, has had a big impact, but there have been failings for years uh, before that, so it's not just a Labour government issue, is it? No, I think that's right. I mean, it's too convenient to just wave COVID as the excuse for everything. It sort of is used to sanitise all sorts of bad decisions and bad behaviour. The reality is when we handed over all of the waiting times in 2017, right through to 2020, before COVID even arrived, they were failing. The surgical waitlist had quadrupled. So there were issues even before COVID arrived. COVID did have a contribution, don't get me wrong. But, you know, if we'd have built more ICU beds, maybe we wouldn't have cancelled as many surgical wait lists as we did. But these issues have been decades in the making, making haven't they, in terms of the workforce and all this forward planning? Does, does National take any responsibility for that? Absolutely. I will own everything that we did that was good and that we didn't do so well uh, during the nine years of our last term. But what is also true is that every single day of this last five years, this government needs to own. OK, 101 recommendations. It's a huge undertaking. Are you supportive of the changes they are recommending? So I don't think the 200,000 New Zealanders, that's roughly one in every 25 people, will see a solution to their hip their knee or their cataracts in the national plan that Andrew Little announced today. What they've seen leading up to this is six months of a high-powered task force who produced this plan. Over that six months, we've seen thousands of GP referrals decline, more than 10,000 a month. Um, we've seen uh, patients uh, increase on the surgical waiting list. OK, so and what's so missing even from the plan in terms today, of practical steps? What's missing? In terms of practical steps. What's missing here is, ta what's clearly missing is targets. Uh, there is no evidence, no, no suggestion at all that there'll be accountability around targets. So many people on the first specialist assessment list or on the surgical list will be treated in any given period of time. There is no targets. That's what's missing here. OK, very quickly, what would National do differently then? Three things that we do. First of all, we'd attend to the workforce. Right now, tonight, if I was the Minister of Health, I would commit to giving nurses a day one pathway to residency. Uh, secondly, we would reinstitute a focus on targets. And thirdly, we would use some of the 486 million in the health reforms and direct that back to our frontline staff and services that are so desperately needing attention. Okay, Shane, thanks very much for your time tonight.